Now, Tess Daly is here in just a moment, supporting her husband Vernon, of course, in the I'm a Celebrity Castle. Oh, hi, yes, Vernon! Are you ready, big guy? I'm ready. Here we go. You don't even know what you've got. on the catwalk. Caspier blanket we have on our sofa. Need a little bit of cashmere. Oh, beauty. The world's gonna. If not, not in love with you already, they will be in love with you. Tiny little shake down, Vern. <laughs> and I just got a... From Tess. <laughs> oh! I love you, Vern. Oh. Well, Tess joins me now. He's doing really well in there, Tess. He's doing great. Oh, my goodness. It feels like he's been away forever. I feel like I'm going through every time. I about him every moment of every day, and I'm watching it every night. And Yeah, he's doing brilliantly. It's lovely, oh. it's lovely watching, but it's nerve-wracking, really is. Yeah. Worry about him being cold, about him not eating. I'm like, ah, it must be freezing. I know he'll be but freezing he cold, cold. and he and he needs. He's a boy that needs his food, so that's a worry. Um, and genuinely, you are worried. I mean, you're you're sort of not being able to sleep and thinking. I hope he's okay. Honestly, I don't. I barely slept. I don't think I've slept over sort of five or six oh, hours God. since he went in there. I wake up the other day. I woke up dreaming. I was doing a challenge with Claudia. It involves snakes and being underground, and it was terrifying, and it woke me up. Like, I'm, yeah, living and breathing it every step of the way, but loving it. No, it is. It's, a, it's a really them, good I show. I cry with them. Yeah. You know, it's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, there's all the emotions. All the emotions are there. What do the girls think? What do the girls think about their dad in there? Well, they love it. And Phoebe, our 16-year-old, watches it every night with me. Um, Amber, who's 11, isn't allowed to stay up that late because, obviously, it's school nights a lot of the time. On a Friday night, she's allowed to. So she did see it on the night when he said hello. He waved and said hello, That's Phoebe it. and Amber, down the camera. Mm -hmm. And then I looked at their faces and they were just lit up. They were delighted because they miss him. They've not seen him for sort of four and a half weeks now because oh. they were in isolation for two and a half weeks before yeah. they went into the camp. No, that's so, true. So, yeah, that's they enjoy true. watching him. Yeah, and he's a real, real hands-on dad. Do you think going in here, though, and the good reaction he's got, you know, if if job offers came along, this is this is a time that he probably would accept those kind of things now that the girls are grown up a little bit? Yeah, probably, because we've always had a policy that while they were growing up, that one of us is at home, you know, we'll make sure we're both, because he travels a lot with his job, and he works with Formula E, for example, travels the yeah. globe um, with the car racing. But it's we make sure that one of us is around. When I work weekends on Strictly, we make sure one of us is at home for the girls, because otherwise it's not fair, is it? They want one pair. <laughs> so we've always had this policy whereby we've sort of juggled it between us. But they're getting, you know, they are older now, they're going up, and they understand that mum and dad have got to go out to work. And we love what we do. So we just try and, you know, juggle it like everybody, every working parent. I know it's it's the eternal juggle, isn't it? But no, we're not complaining. It's all good stuff. No, it absolutely is. And you're talking about Strictly. Strictly has been so good this year, Tess. I know it's been different for you because you can see your yeah. instinct is to go and give, you know, give everybody a cuddle and try and sort of, you know, and hope because normally you'd be holding their hands and helping them. And that must yes. be so difficult. But thank goodness you got round all of the rules and the show's been able to go ahead. We, do you know what? We're so grateful that it could happen because there was one point, obviously, back in March and we thought, how can we make this happen? This is a physical show. People are together. Um, and the producers worked ever so hard since March to sort of make it happen to all, overcome all the logistical challenges. I miss standing next to Claudia because she's normally sort of glued to me here. <laughs> right. And... And I miss, you know, having yes. a... And sometimes I just want to reach for a right, round of ways to be... And I can't. And I'm like, oh, no, I can't touch you. And when when the couples go out, for example, and they're emotional yeah. and it's... Your, your, your physical instinct is to reach for them and reassure them and give them a hug and you can't. So that is challenging. You have to yeah. remind yourself not to do that when you... When you're live as well. I know, um, I know. But, but we're grateful that it's on air and that we have managed to do the show and people are enjoying it. It's a sense yeah. of normality. It's yep. light-hearted entertainment. It's good fun, you know. So, yeah, it feels like a privilege that we're actually on air, really, because there was a point we thought we might not make it. That's true. And we had, yeah, yeah, I know. And we had we, families. Yeah, of course. I know it's 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 hard, but we are loving it. And Claudia yesterday said, "Do you know what? Of all the shows that she's done, this is the most open." 
anybody could win yeah. it. You can't call it, yeah. can you? Anybody, you know, anybody could win and anybody could go. You know, up until last week, there'd been someone different at the top of the leaderboard yeah. every week for five weeks. And we've never, we've never had that before in 16 years of the show. You know, it's never been so someone different every week who's peaked. And I love that because it means you just can't call it. It adds a real sense of jeopardy because people come good at different times and you can't predict it at this point. We're at the quarterfinal on Saturday, uh, three weeks away from the final, two weeks, three weeks. And um, I can't, yeah, it seems it's, 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 it's gone really quickly, but you, you can't call who's nope. going to be in the final at this nope. point because it changes every week. Well, we're obviously, so, yeah. yeah, we're obviously supporting. Of course, we are. We're supporting our Ranveer, and I keep saying this, but it's true. Oh, she amazing. is amazing, and she's what you know. I love for somebody, I know, and for someone who tests, she's got no dance experience, and look it, at her gliding up. <laughs> oh, she's you know, she's an absolute nobby. She's never danced before. She said herself, she had no confidence. And she's not used to sort of putting herself out there on a shiny floor and entertaining an audience. That's not her job. You know, she's a factual sort of presenter. She's used to standing outside Parliament with a microphone and a big coat on. And she's not used to this. You know, she's never danced before. And I think she's been incredible. She's honestly, she, she surprises us and wows us every single week. She does. So she She's does. Brilliant. And and what an amazing, amazing show to be part of, you know, for, for all of these years that you've been there. I mean, it's it's just a dream job, isn't it? It is honestly wonderful. I feel so lucky. It's I mean, I've got a 16 year old now, Phoebes, and she was I was pregnant with her series one. Wow. Unbelievably. <laughs> uh, back in 2004. And she's a visual reference of how she's taller than me now how long we've been on air and it's incredible because as we know, you know, show business years, they're like dog years. So 16 years is a very long time. <laughs> uh, and we're so grateful that the audience, have, you know, they enjoy the show and they've stayed, I think, and I think it sort of continues to grow. This year, for example, I've really enjoyed the, you know, the, um, uh, the, the AR, the artificial reality. Yeah. We've got the prop, yeah, but we've also got incredible effects on the show. Um, and so I just think it looks sort of different every year. Yeah, really grateful to be working on a show that I love to bits and so many of the original sort of team members, the crew, the production crew are still there. It's fantastic. Guys, well, we love it. We love it, we love it, we love it. And we will we will be watching on Saturday it. and on Sunday and obviously watching your Vernon on I'm a Slave. Thank you, Tess. Great to talk oh, to you. Thank you so, so much. much. Thank Lovely you. talking to you. Oh. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.